Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Banana phone. It goes in bunches. I've got my hunches. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Banana phone. Hi everyone. Do you remember me? Since back then, a lot of people wanted to see my face. Hello, I am Sky Sia, and I went viral in 2004. I appeared as the Banana Man in Singapore Idol Season 1. Back then, watching American Idol, nobody went to auditions wearing a mask. Really, what I was is a watermelon. I had some friends in the States, in the US. During one of their parties, they put a watermelon, put sunglasses on it with a bunch of bananas, and they stuck a straw in the mouth, and then they said, you know, look, it's you. And then I said, hey, that's actually pretty funny. What if I made a mask like that? So I asked my mother. And so the prototype mask looked exactly like that. I had that mask all the time on the internet and then I was using that to take photos like an internet clown at the time. I decided to wear this mask to Singapore Idol as myself, Psycho Melon. Before memes, we had things we called fads. And this song, Rafi's Banana Phone, was a fad. Bit of an earworm, a bit annoying. And then I thought, you know, that's a very funny song to sing. I went with it. I had a lot of fun. And then I appeared on TV. Right after the episode aired, within an hour, my Friendster exploded. And Friendster only allowed 500 friends. So I had to create multiple accounts. I had like a Sky 1, Sky 2, Sky 3, Sky 4, Sky 5, so that I could have 2,000 something friends. And all the accounts were full within hours. There was a reporter, she wanted to interview me for the new paper. There were people calling me saying, you know, hey, we should do this together. So that was super overwhelming. Back in the day, I didn't think of myself as viral because, you know, it wasn't really shared. It was just that like I appeared on TV and then got really popular. I was 17 at the time. I didn't really think it through. I was just like, I have the mask. It's a very funny idea. Let's do it. I received a lot of fan mail, a lot of, you know, it was like a YouTube comment section in my DMs. It was a lot of uh, positive comments a lot of negative comments, a lot of hate, a lot of random comments, a lot of crazy comments. The positive comments that I got were really nice because there were a lot of people saying, hey, you know, what you did was really brave. Dude, you're a legend. That was amazing. There was even a time I was in a taxi because I was meeting my friends, I had a mask in my bag. And then the taxi was like, hey, you're the guy from TV. And I'm like, yeah. It's like, wear your mask, it's so funny. And I'm like, ah, my, my kids love you. So that was really great. So it made me feel really nice. The craziest DM for sure that I received was two girls asking me, inviting me out to have sex. They were literally like saying, you know, hey, you know, you're famous, you're cool, come, you know, let's have sex. And I'm like, no, I, I didn't participate and I never thought more of it, but that was the strangest DM that I received. I got quite a few fan art that uh, people said, you know, I drew this in class, I want you to have it. And then I received it, it was so fun. I really appreciate all the fan art that my fans drew for me back in the day and I kept everyone, I loved it. So do people still recognize me these days, you know? My face? No. I think everybody, they recognize the character and then they were interested at the end of the program to see who's this kid. But, you know, I, I think I look like just anybody else. And so today, nobody recognizes my face. So it was a YOLO before YOLO was a thing. So one of the most uh, interesting recognized experience I got where I was being recognized was from my now wife, back then girlfriend. When we first started dating, she visited my house. She saw the Banana Man plushies. She said, you know, you like this guy? Ah? And I was like, I was this guy. And, and she was absolutely horrified because she was like, you ruined my childhood. I really hated the Banana Man because the song was catchy. Everybody in my class was singing it. And I was so frustrated with the Banana Man. I was just saying, you know, who would ever date a loser like that? But she's my wife now. So what have I been doing since then? Well, it's been 17 years. That's half my life behind. One of the most popular comments I remembered is that, you know, this guy, he went to ITE. And back then, the stigma was a lot stronger and people, you know, they were like saying, okay, he's hopeless. That's why he's doing this kind of thing. So let me tell you about what really happened. Back then, there was no choice. You had an N-level cert, there was only ITE. So I was in ITE, IT, at the time of the whole banana man thing. And I found MDIS at the time was offering an Edith Cohen University path. With my N-levels, I could take a certificate, professional certificate, then a diploma, then a degree in ITE. So then I quit ITE actually. 
and then I went the private route. And so I got a business degree in commerce. And then I thought, you know, everybody has a degree, I'm going to get a master's. So then I used my commerce degree, I got a master's of science in finance. I worked for a bank, I worked uh, for an SME. That's when I found this really fun opportunity with a chocolate MNC and said, you know, come make chocolate, that was really fun. I grew from a junior position because I was genuinely interested in what I was doing. And today, I am a regional controller of the operations and supply chain of this company for the entire Asia Pacific region and I think that's pretty cool. And moving forward, I'm actually taking on a new challenge moving to Japan and taking on a new role there in the factory. My biggest takeaway from being viral was that it developed me, it pushed my boundaries and I definitely grew from that experience. It also left me with a very interesting memory and legacy because even today people say, ah, you're a legend, that was amazing, you're national treasure and all these things. And you know, if I have any words of wisdom for you, the viewer today, it would be to really just go for it. As long as you're doing something that you really enjoy, you want to do, why aren't you doing it? Just go for it and you'll grow out of that experience. Hi, I'm Skysia and you're watching Viral Video Stars.